Can you tell me who made the worm? Bob. Bob. My brows, Bob. Hi, I'm I'm looking for Bob. He's Bob. I'm Bob. I'm with the Gazette, and I was the wondering. Gazette? Are you going to run my letter? Uh. You talk funny. I I wanted to ask about the worm. The worm? Yes, um, the one you made. I, I was wondering where you got the idea. You never heard of the legend of Lola? There's a legend? She was one big worm. Why don't you talk to Miss Allison? She taught Jim. Hi! Hi! Oh. Hi! What, what kind of dog is she? Bisbee is a Texas Chihuahua. A Texas That's Ch right, Chihuahua. Bisbee. You're a Texas Chihuahua, aren't you? Well, she's she's just beautiful. Hi, you're you're just beautiful. Oh, good girl. So you taught Jim Brower. I understand he had a big uh, worm. He was a dreamer. To the front, of course. America had just entered the war. Well, now what about Jim? He left his book. Alice in Wonderland? It started everything. I heard you could tell me a thing or two uh, about Jim and Lola. I'm busy. Uh, well, um, Miss Allison said if you didn't talk to me, she was going to tell the sheriff about your hash patch. Ah, that old witch. So, um, what's the skinny on Jim and Lola? She just helped them get things done. You ever plow the field? I bet you didn't know that worms ate dirt. You ever drop a gas tank on one of these? <laughs> With Lola around, Jim got to do more fun stuff. Of course, then Lola was gone and Uncle Sam come along.
not how you told me it happened. And did you know Lola smoked? Well, she would sneak around and steal tobacco and supplies from the Germans. She was a big girl, but she was awfully light on her feet. But she wasn't bitten by the fashion worm, I can tell you that. I'll see you in a minute. Where are you headed? Pilot Point. You a farmer? Jim tried farming, but... It was the Depression, you see. Nobody could get nothing to grow. So Jim went into the bootleg. Oh, you're not going to bring that up, are you? Let me show you. It was Prohibition, you see. Now there's me and Jim when we went off to war. That's Jim, and that's me. That's you? And that's Bob and Ron. Ron was the German that Lolo saved. I don't know what this has to do with anything. Wait, so you guys made moonshine? Still do. Do you want to snort? Frank! They almost got caught, you know. Run! Where'd you come from? Don't you know they put worms in bottles over there? Ron? Yeah, that's right. I understand that the worm, uh, Lola, saved your life. Good times with Lola. Wait, in, in the war? No, no. She and Jim, after the war, they opened up lowbrows. If you don't come soon, the water's going to be cold, and you know you promised to wash my back. Yeah, yeah, Shach. You speak like that. But his mother, she's always making trouble. The saloon is the sum of all villains. It is the mother of all sins. Whiskey fills the land with misery, wretchedness, and disease. A denizen of fiends mock our Garden of Eden. I thought Lola died in the war. You don't know that worms can regenerate? Regenerate? Lord knows what they teach them these days. Ah, uh, so 
Ron says you still have some of the moonshine. Is that right? Off the record. Okay. Ron says you warned them that night about the mob. A serpent in the apple of the tree of life. This is, we have to do something about this. Jim, you got to get out. They're coming for Lola. Out. Out, I say. Damn spot me gone. Who? Why? That preacher's got the Tempest Lady thinking that Lola is a serpent in the Garden of Eden. This is the Garden of Eden? Amen. Great is the glory in heaven for those willing to rebuke this rock. Just go. Did you ever hear from them again? Gone West, the bar is yours, Jim. Address to Bob A, Pilot Point, Texas. Lola. 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 You ever look for gold, Lola? Well, what do you say we go find ourselves some? <laughs>